Howdy y'all, I'm TJ with Bear Gaming. Welcome back to 7 Days to Dies, The Drifter. Morning of day 33, we got quite a bit crafted last night. So we got the cargo mods installed in the drone. So that'll help alleviate some of our storage issues. And we got a little bit before a uh, crater opens up. And I suspect we may have a blood moon today. I was thinking about picking out a POI and clearing it out real quick. I don't think in this town we found any place that may have firearms mods. Okay. I shoot a cougar in the butt. I guess we could check this cop car. Yeah, let's crack in here real quick. Okay. That works too. Hey, you leave my truck alone, zombie man. Okay. Look at there. We found the compound bow we were looking for, so I guess we can switch out the crossbow. Level 6 compound bow. With steel arrows. Alright, come on, Bob. What you got? The... Sure. Okay. That's right. He doesn't want those, does he? Also buy that for our new Magnum. Probably hold on that. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. Oh, yep. Day 33 is red. That means Blood Moon tonight. Oh, look, level six chainsaw. Let's check inventory to see how much Magnum ammo. We only got 232. Not a whole lot. So because it's Blood Moon. Uh, I want to swing up to Trader Hughes since it's early in the morning. I want to search for a better shotgun. We'll try and grab some more mods for the uh, Desert Vulture. Uh, and then we'll try and scoop up as much uh, 44 mag ammo as possible. So I'm going to try and use that for the Blood Moon. We'll see how it does. We finally arrived at Hugh. Man, that took forever. Hopefully he's got something good. weapons or drop your drawers. About that, sir. Got some steel crossbow bolts. It's not a bad idea. Take all of those. Mm, he's got a level five. That's not good enough. I mean, definitely buy that. Was there something else? We've completed sniper. So that means we can craft a ghillie suit and bolt craft 762. That'll come in handy in the future. Alright, one Q down, two to go. Alright, Q number two, what you got? No loitering. Well, it's about That's kinda time it. you bought something. Alright, we got one more Hugh to hit. A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Uh, okay. What else you got? Uh, that's all you're gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself out. Nothing. Dude got nothing. Alright, so it doesn't look like we're gonna find a better shotgun for Blood Moon. I've got a bad feeling about this. Unfortunate. And then we didn't find a whole lot of mods for the Desert Vulture, but that's okay. We, I mean, we can... Pull mods off of stuff we're not going to use because we're not probably going to use the sniper rifle. I end up using uh, our pump shotgun, the SMG, which does this well, M60. Yep, Snake, I'm talking. We do have 53 rockets. Hopefully, that's enough. Found a movie theater. Coleman's drive in. What's nice about this is I know where the uh, the stash is kind of quick and easy. Um, we do it like this.
I was just gonna break my way through. I yeah, it uses it's six minutes. We got time. Bad. Shotgun Messiah, decent. Yeah, some ammo we can use. I don't know what surprises I'm in store when I get a little bit farther in. Because usually there's more. Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah, we'll grab this ATM. Uh, it's getting close to 1,800 hours. We'll head back to... We'll head to Joel. We'll sell, and then we'll hit that long stretch of road and see what we can't make. Alright, kind of running out of time. Mr. Joel, what you got? Y'all come back now. I'll think about it. All right, let's head down for that straight stretch. Uh oh. My have picked up something. That straggler's in. We'll head down for the straight stretch. We'll get uh, meds, food, and water in us, and get situated for the blood moon. All right, here we go. Day thirty-three, blood moon. Hmm, that's quite a few. My senses have picked up something. Hey, go away. Yeah, that magazine capacity is going to be a problem. We're going to have to put an extension in there. Post haste. Alright, M60. Thank you. Now we have run and gun completely unlocked, so we shouldn't slow down a whole lot when we do this. And we didn't have a whole, uh, we didn't have a lot of chance to put more mods in the uh, Desert Vulture. But I got lots of rockets. That'll be fun. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that's the first time I've really done it on like a hill, like a heavy incline. Usually I like to keep it nice and flat. Ow. They seem to have learned not to uh, just blindly follow me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my stamina is getting kind of low. That's a concern. I like because I'm so thirsty. Now we should be good. He made a big hole. Uh oh. It went click. Let's see if we can't ball him up a little bit. Not super fast. Whoa, she's quick. I got a couple. I got a couple. I heard him on my back. I think it was a mistake picking uh, this hilly terrain for a blood moon. Because I'm having a heck of time going up and down. We're going to have to crest this ridge and just kind of stay there. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Even better. Okay. We're okay. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, I don't know about the Magnum for uh, Blood Moon. A lot of recoil. It may be a uh, everyday kind of gun, kind of like the 9mm is. Of course, it not being fully modded is kind of an issue. Yeah, let's stick to this level ground over here. Ah. Oh. I'm sure he took some of my XP on that one. Not cool. 
Yeah, see how they're strafing my way now? They got smarter. They got smarter. Yeah, they're almost entirely green now, too. That's an issue. Ooh, this is nice over here. Let's check this out. Yeah, I've got my uh, 4x4 safely tucked away. So it's not like they're going to get to it, but still. Can I get a little bit of distance and turn around and shoot you guys? Thank you. How about again? Fantastic. Alright, we're into day 34. Good stuff. Really? Rookie mistake, letting it click. You know, now that I think about it, some pipe bombs in these holes would be a really good idea. I didn't bring them, though. Was not thinking. Now, I've got pretty much as much as I can carry on me, ammo-wise. Uh, the drone has a little bit more, just in case it gets really gnarly towards the end. Oh, really? Gotcha. More birds. Oh, he's raided. Well, he was. That was fine. Keep him coming. Didn't make a single sound. Not a single footstep heard. All right, let's see if we can't uh, clump these guys up and explode them with a frag rocket. That's a decent shot. Decent shot. Nice follow-up. Let's get reloaded. My senses have picked up something. What do you think? There's a lot of birds in the air, man. Okay, let's start dealing with them. Got one. Saw the green glowy dudes. Ah, I'm not gonna be able to hit him with this uh, SMG that far away. Whiff. That was a straight whiff. Nothing but the whiff. And we've got at least two radiated vultures in the air. A dog. Good shot. Again? Ooh, that was a good one. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Okay. Let's see if the shotgun can get some work done. Because I really need to kind of repair some of my other stuff. Come at me, bro. Oh, crap. I need that automatic shotgun. Oh, another one of these dudes? My senses have picked up something. 40,000 XP, maybe? Nah, it wasn't a great shot. I got a couple of them. Alright, I do need to take a second and then reload and repair everything. The main issue is all of their different speeds. The only suck part about that is, in a, in a no-base blood moon, I mean, he doesn't really do any damage to a base, because we don't have one, but 
takes the XP from your kills, and that's just, that's annoying. Alright, buddy, you need to move. That's why, right there. I backed up into him, I started shooting him, I had to back up. Alright, let's stack them and explode them. That was close. I think I only got one of them. Yeah, when they're lined up, I mean, the rocket launcher doesn't do it just quite well enough. I think what we're going to have to do is take them to a, like a, a valley in this road, the one we were avoiding earlier. And then try it there. Let's head that way. I want to try it. See if we can't swirl them in the valley a little bit. Yeah, if we head up this way. Yeah, it's not a bad way to do it. Doesn't really stack them like I hoped it would. Going this way, Mike. Not bad, not bad. Ah, I think we totally missed everybody on that one. Alright, a couple more seconds left in Blood Moon Day 34. Alright, all we have left is cleanup to gather our inventory. You know, for not being in the snow, that's a lot of radiated lumberjacks. Okay, cleanup on this one might take me a little while. I'm really curious to see what that red bag had in it. Okay, not bad, not bad. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It is a pleasure to serve. Now, in the next video, uh, we'll try our best to complete Tier 5 either with um, Hugh or Bob. Get on to Tier 6. So until then, laters.